Hello, Bonnie Shockwind 1000 and Bonnie for Duty, welcoming you back to more Super Smash Brothers Brawls, Subspace and Misery. In the last episode, we helped Zero Suit, well, we can't really just say her name is Zero Suit Samus, we've helped Samus Aran, who is her official name, recollect her armor in order to help her uh, for any upcoming fights that's coming up up ahead. In this episode, we've unlocked a new area on the floating island, which I actually stated it'd be called Angel Island, because it does honestly look like Angel Island to me. And see what's cracking off outside the ancient ruins. Okay. I actually wonder when I was actually going to start that series, to be honest. Yep, it's Olimar. And Captain Falcon. And the music that it was actually playing in the background there with his intro, really cool intro by the way, it was Mute City. Unfortunately, though, he wasn't muted by his entrance, though. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll admit, yeah. Um, so you notice that he killed all the Pikmin apart from one. But, yeah, you notice that Olimar, in that introduction, he had red, yellow, blue, orange, uh, orange, no. Red, yellow, blue, white, and purple Pikmin. That's the Pikmin franchise that he normally gets when you're playing Pikmin 2. I haven't even shown Pikmin 1 yet, so I don't know when I'm going to be starting showing the Pikmin series. Because the only way I can play Pikmin is by a Wii Remote and Nunchuck, because I've got the Nintendo Wii editions of Pikmin 1 and Pikmin 2. The only problem is, I have three Nunchucks, one doesn't even work at all, even though I got it brand new from Amazon like a few couple of years ago another one has a dodgy connection and another one has the joystick going so slowly that you can't even go up properly but you can go actually no you can't even go any direction properly it's like you push it really really far one direction and you speed you go is basically like well, a very, very slow speed. Like you're just casually walking when you know your default running speed is obviously run. And, oh, wow. So last time we actually entered this room, we actually showed a Deoxys trophy. It showed a different trophy that time. That, God's sake. Believe me when I say this, that's actually not an easy thing to do. There you go. We finally got the trophy, and it was a sm it was one of those sticky bombs. I don't know if it actually um, respawns trophies galore, so you can just like grab tons and tons of. I don't actually know. I'm just gonna ignore that gamer. And uh, we've got shell pods and also a lot of aurobas. I think they were just flying the cuckoo's nest or something. Oh, God. Hey, excuse me. There we go. Well, okay, that was weird. I got the trophy and it spawned in his clone. But anyway, I actually kind of didn't really mention the whole... Um, Attacking formation of Captain Falcon. It's up special, just basically does like a sweet upper cut. Regular special is the Falcon Punch, which you saw in his introduction. Um, is down special? I think it just does the splits. I think I don't know. 
And his side, spe his side special, I don't actually recall. I think his special is just based on him punching a lot. But anyway, wait. Oh, wait, well, we've got two reds, two purples, and two blues. Um, it, Olimar, regular special, it pulls up Pikmin from the ground. Up. Basically creates a Pikmin line, which allows you to grab hold of any um, ledges. Side special, throws the Pikmin, down special, whistles them back. Any standard Olimar mechanic used in the Pikmin games. And in case you were wondering, um, the way how these Pikmin live. The purple Pikmin are heavy hitters. Uh, we haven't seen white Pikmin yet, but... Um, I'm not going to spoil too much about that. Yellow Pikmin survive electricity. Red Pikmin survive fire. Blue survive water. Makes total sense with their colour franchise. But, you notice that one... Oh, we actually got the Deoxys Trophy anyway. Nice. Uh, did we? That looked like we got the same trophy. That looked like the um, sticky bomb trophy. Uh, whatever. Yeah, his size special is basically a super. Si oh my God. Alright, seriously now, you Robs can go away, please. The Gamaiga, I really do not like. Hey! See what I mean? I know I didn't hit any um, enemy with that, I just wanted to get rid of it. <laughs> See, Kathy Fletcher's like, hold on, little buddy, let's watch what these guys are going to be doing. Hmm, now that's an entrance. I like an entrance. Let's go! <laughs> and all of us like, no, don't take me with you! Oh, Captain Falcon likes everything cool. <laughs> Hi, how are you doing? <laughs> and all I was like thinking, what did I sign myself in for? <laughs> oh dear, this is just too good. I understand why Proton John loves Captain Falcon so much. And I couldn't agree with him more, honestly. Hey! Hey! We actually got the Falcon Punch immediately, thanks to flying in mid air. There you go. You see, sometimes it's just too cool to be Captain Falcon. There, yeah, I'm just going to let these enemies kill themselves, honestly. Hi. Hi. <laughs> oh, shadies. Oh, God. Well, we actually finally get to fight this Donkey Kong once more. Oh, God. Wow, that lasted long. But yeah, you notice that uh, my down special was just basically slamming the floor. Um, side special just basically Donkey Kong does a headbutt. It just pins enemies into the ground. Doesn't really work on these enemies, unfortunately. It does work on actual Smash fighters. Uh, 
Um, I'm pretty sure his up special basically does the helicopter um, spin, and you obviously saw what the down special does. Oh god, metal primates. Oh, you actually can catch metal primates. I didn't think you could. But it wouldn't allow me to get them. And Falco being Falco, taken to the skies. Yeah, we actually did. We got two gooey bombs. I thought we did. Right, Hokate... Hokotate ship, Rob launcher, Bronto Burt, and the Oxys Trophy. We got New Super Mario Bros. Fire Flower, Super Sonic from Sonic the Hedgehog 2, Ho Oh from the Pokemon series. Okay. Yeah, for the hell of it. We're going to the Glacial Peak. You got the Star Fox fighting the Halberd. Meta Knight's actually not liking the look of that. Oh yeah, we got the Ice Climbers. <laughs> And they're not happy about Meta Knight doing what he was doing, apparently. But we're going to be partnering up with them. I think we'll actually start off with the, as the Ice Climbers. Okay, Ice Climbers. Side special is that. Regular. Just shoots little icebergs. Down special makes a little icy wind. And up special... You have the female and male partner work together to actually send each other up. The whole mechanic about the ice climbers is that the male ice climber has to stay alive. The female ice climber is an optional party member um, that doesn't have to stay alive because she's not in control of you're not in control of him at all. Right, got an electro trophy there. The only problem is about Ice Climber is Up Special becomes less effective if you lose the female Ice Climber. And you see, these little flags on the mountain, they're basically like checkpoints. Thanks for the lift. Ah, oh, we spawn we um despawned the sticker. Oh well, I'm sure the sticker wasn't really that entertaining. Alright then. Right, we've made it to the next checkpoint. Oh god, we gotta not stay too close to those flues because Having three flus all crowding in on you at once is threatening, to say the least. And that's why you can get hugely comboed. Oh wow, I actually spawned us right to the door. I don't think there's a secret door there, though, so we're fine to move on. Right, here we got to watch out for these ice crystals. They do look cool, I'm not going to lie. But that's why you can see, if they can hurt the primates, they can hurt you as well. I 
I'm just going to keep doing this because the flues will spawn on top of you just as it heads up. You might think that this is cheap, but it's effective. It's effective specifically if you have enemies that have a health bar that can't be regenerated. Now we've got these little ice platforms that apparently appear inside the cliff wall, which make no sense. If you're wondering what music this is, this is one of a uh, very few music you actually hear on the Halberds. I don't know what Kirby game the is originally from. Maybe it's like a Meta Knight boss battle music, I don't actually know. Right, a Benary trophy, okay. Just got to keep clear of the ice wall because they can actually crush you. Just as a heads up. Right, just waiting. Okay. Whoa, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Get in there quick. Yeah, that does go all the way down, that spike thing. Right, there was a platform that spawned from nowhere. That's basically there to... Um, catch you. Just watch out for these um, glass, um, glaciers. They will actually freeze you in seconds if you let them do that. So just be careful. Ah, damn it, that was too high. Um, we'll just sit up here. We'll let them roll off. <laughs> yeah, you don't even have to fight those things. Got a baseball bat. If you do like a strong whack, that does actually instant kill all fighters. Unfortunately, though, as you recall, you can't take items with you through doors. Two heart containers, okay. This actually is an optional room, so don't worry about that. Turn into Metal Knight. Get a trophy over there. Continue climbing upwards, and there's another trophy over here. We'll see what those are at the end of the level. Fortunately, though, going in and out of doors actually does respawn the enemies. God, I forgot about the wind being this powerful. Okay, there's another checkpoint. Okay, there's apparently no wind up here, but there was actually wind in one level below. Which is weird. Oh, look who it is! Lucario! Meditating on top of an icy mountain. And we got the Teen Galactic music once again. We actually are going to play as Lucario for this. Lucario specials, immediately. Side special, force palm. Down special, extreme speed. Regular special, aura sphere. Up special, that. Yeah, I know. Kind of interesting to say the least. 
So immediately, uh, no matter the outcome on this, it's actually going to result the same way. You just basically have to beat one another. Oh, God. Nearly got sprung off then. Springboard plus ice physics equal hell. Literally. There you go. Aura Sphere never misses in the main Pokemon franchise, but it does actually miss in this game. <laughs> and there we go, stage is clear. We got the Electro Trophy, Boneri Trophy, She Goth Trophy, Agatha Trophy. And stickers, Rob Hayward, Wraith Racers, and Samus from Metroid Fusion. And there's the Halberd once again. They actually got the Star Fox. And see Lucario and Meta Knight actually climbing up the ship. But ice climbers are actually falling down. But there we go. That does it for this episode. We didn't actually get all the items there. But that doesn't really matter to me. It's not 100% completing the game. It's just showing as much as I can honestly. But yeah. Um, actually I probably should have saved it there to be honest. But I guess if there's a failed spot. I'm sure we can edit this out. But, um, actually, you know what, no, it's probably best if I do actually save it over the glacial thingamabob. There we go. So, that does it. Next time Super Smash Brothers Brawl, we're going to the canyon. And believe me, the canyon's not really going to be a very long level. Let me just say that now. It's not going to be a long level. See you guys then.